Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Rob Howitt. Welcome to live stream. Uh, Wednesday, the 23rd of February, uh, 2022. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream, which is all about Module 1 tonight. So anybody that has a Module 1, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a thorough one. It's going to be a good one. So welcome, RJH, on a live stream Wednesday, 23rd February, 2022. And it is all about Module 1. So it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. And our first viewer in the chat room, good evening to Sophie. Good evening, Sophie. All about module one. Um, so, yeah, start off traditional well done's to all of those that have braved the weather over the last week. Ooh we Is it three storms we had? One, two, three. Don't ask me to name them. Uh, Eunice was one of them, I think, but don't ask me to name them. Yeah, three storms, but in between all that, we've had a lot of people, CBTs, taster sessions, CBTs, module one passes, module two passes. So we really have had a busy, busy week and no signs of it letting up. So I think it's a sign of the season to come. Um, so, yeah, big, big well done to those that have been achieving their goals. Glad that we could be part of that journey. Uh, and also RJ, Team RJH, all the instructors out there battling the elements. Um, you know, if they're not wet and they're not cold from the wind, they've been battered and bruised from the wind. It's absolutely been terrible. But I um, think it's a calm down a bit now. The wind's just going to go a little bit colder, I believe. So just now going to go a bit colder. But as long as it's calmer, that's a good thing. And uh, we can all start to um, crack on. But yes, tonight's live stream is all about module one. So let's uh, let's get straight in with the competition. So I am giving away a free CBT worth £199. And you can take that CBT at Eccles, Manchester. You can take it in Wigan. You can take it in Northwich. Or you can take it in our new school up in Runcorn, which is opening from next week. So take it any of those if you have already passed your test or done your cbt then we can give you that cbt as a voucher and you can give it to your nearest and dearest um, but we will be opening up a competition giving away a free cbt i do have one condition and that is we need 100 people watching the live stream at the same time our record is 62 so there's 10 of you on there now so let's get that chat room too hot to handle the more that you comment in the chat room the more that you ask questions and we get answers and get you interacting in that chat room, um, like the video, uh, comment away, share the video. So share it out there. Um, I think you can share it. And let's get more and more people into this chat room. Say, get 100 people in it. I will open up that competition for a free CBT. I want to give a free CBT. I want to give many. So, you know, next live stream um, on Sunday, we get another 100, we'll give another one. So every time I get to 100 live viewers, I will give that CBT away. So I can't say fairer than that. Um, so that's that. There we are. Um, let's just have a little catch up. Let's see what we've got going on in, in the um, chat room. So yeah, I say good evening to Sophie. Uh, Sophie there, Chicken Lines. Um, check out Sophie's YouTube channel. She's getting a little bit of a um, following going now. It's only a new channel, but she's got some good videos on there. So take a look, Chicken Lines video, um, Chicken Lines channel, and um, get uh, get yourself over onto that and have a look. Um, 
Herbie Hamilton. Good evening to you, Herbie. That's a new uh, name in the chat room, I believe. Um, so um, any of our new um, participants, um, we always say get, um, yeah, press that subscribe so that you then, and you can set up this um Press the bell, can't you? you can uh, press the bell so you get notified of all the um, uploaded videos and live streams. We do live streams generally twice a week. Every Wednesday, a subject. Tonight, module one. Every Sunday, I become Bob the Biker. So uh, we have a fo good following on both. So welcome, Herbie. Edgar, good evening to you. Uh, another new name, I believe. So a few new names, possibly. So tell us about yourself. Where are you on your journey? Um, Cow Pat, good evening to you. Another, I think that's another Nor one. Uh, Nor one. Another new one. And um, yeah, so introduce yourselves, please. Um, get chatting away. And, um, yeah, subscribe. We do like that. Um, good evening, Herbie. Yes, yeah, Sophie, chicken lies. I uh, saw buds on the bush today. Beautiful day. Spring is coming. It is. There was signs of a blue sky today. So, and it was at times a little bit milder as well. So, yeah, it's only going to get better it's only going to improve. Getting lighter now, isn't it, as well? Um, good evening to Mr. James Castle. Evening to you, James. Got your DAS training commences as of Monday next week. So is that... Don't recognise your name, James. Are you a new... Are you new in the chat room? Um, have you... Are you with us doing your training? Don't recognise the name, but forgive me if you are and I haven't picked up on it. So a little bit about where you're doing it. Um, Edgar, yeah, past your A category, but still enjoy watching these live streams. Well done. Thanks for that, Edgar. It is um, it is what we, we try and encourage anybody that does go on and pass their um, module ones and module twos. They pass their full test. We do ask you to keep in touch and come on to the live streams because of course you are your knowledge is what all the new riders so Edgar you've got what James wants and you can pass on your experience to him in the Q&A sessions and it just helps everybody along it helps us all along so it is um, very good of you all to join in um, First time in the chat, James. Yeah, following the videos for a while. Great, you're based in South Devon. Fantastic. So we get people watching from up and down the country. And uh, we get people watching from in Europe. And um, we find that we um, attract trainees. So we do get trainees come to us from up and down the country. And we have also had trainees come to us from Europe. So we do attract um, people from all over the place, not only on the YouTube channel, but in person. So in person. So it is always good of you to join in. Um, and... You know, I can pass on my experience to you. And the good thing is, as it is, it's a live stream. So you can ask questions that, um, you know, you have to you have to ask. And you're, um, you know, doing, uh, you having to pay for it, aren't you? You having to pay with your training schools and so forth. So it is, um, um, you know beneficial yeah thank you very much walking around the uk congrats on runcorn yeah so runcorn 
it's a fantastic facility over there and we have um, a little bit of news haven't we Sophie because I don't think I've mentioned it but we do have a um, new centre manager for Runcorn so Sophie has um, been um, given the opportunity of uh, managing Runcorn so she's the new centre manager so there's a little bit of um, good news and that is from next Monday so um, well done to Sophie and um, look forward to working with Sophie at RJH Runcorn um, so it's going to be good it's going to be good good it's going to be fantastic so Scunny UK hi all thanks for your answer on the last video Rob what was that answer um, Edgar, yeah, watch most of the videos before completing my DAS generally top notch content. Fantastic, glad to hear. Yes, all of you that are watching, yeah, thank you. Walking, um, Sophie, there we are. Runcorn, RJH Runcorn. So um, now you all know, so you can congratulate Sophie. And Sophie does like you to hop over to her YouTube channel and subscribe to it, don't you, Sophie? Um, Chick in Lines, that is the channel. Now then, um, shall we get to it um, and there, can you all see that? Um, what I want to do is um, to not, well what I want to do, what I am going to do is talk all about module one. Um, Oh, theory tests and lessons, great, yep, so fantastic is all I can say, that's what the um, live stream is all about, that's what the chat room is all about, get those questions in, let's get that, um, let's get that chat room steaming from all four corners, that's what I'd like. Uh, Christopher Charles, thanks to you all and especially Sylvia for the advice. I've now gained my full A licence with Steve from Arrow and Chester with only two lessons. Two lessons. Fantastic, Christopher Charles. You must be a very good rider. Um, and uh, yeah, that's very good to hear. Um, guys, walking around UK. Guys, I did my CBT with these guys and it changed my life. I'll sh I shall be back doing my bigger test soon. Yeah, well, that's what we do, walking around UK, um, and um, yep, yeah, so that's good. Chicken Lines is Sophie AW8. Yes, Chicken Lines is Sophie. Um, it's a Sophie, a.k.a. Chicken Lines. Sophie, a.k.a. Chicken Lines. That's her YouTube channel. Um, right, let's think then about module one. Shall we get started? What have we got? Yeah, 11 people in. Um, it's um, module one night, module one night, module one night. Um, so anybody that wants to obtain their full motorcycle license um, whether that be um, you know so a1 a2 category a depending on your age and so on you you will have to complete a module one um, test now keep it simple four stages to generally from scratch four stages to obtain your full motorcycle license and um, it's a CBT that's the first thing and if you watched last week's live stream that was all about the CBT and indeed 
um, the live stream playlist on our YouTube channel. There's many, many, many videos, uh, live streams on the CBT, but also a, a playlist of CBT. So plenty of content there to have a look at. Um, and that's the first thing. So you need your CBT. Then you are you will need to pass your theory test. So the documentation that you um, need to produce on your um, at your module one is your CBT and your theory test okay so you need to have both of those completed um, before you can do your module one test and of course your module one test which is what we're going to be talking about tonight depending on your ability will determine how many lessons you need to um, you know um, you need to put in so module one that's where we are so cbt theory module one then your module two now next week's live stream next wednesday will be the module two so you can go through the stages on the live streams so nice and easy um in the descriptions below this live stream there should be a, um, a whole load of videos in the description as we go through. So you should be able to see the, the manual handling. I'm just getting up on the screen now. Um, I don't know, it even starts by, um, well, we'll go on to it in a minute, but what you need to wear on your tests. Um, six top tips to pass your test first time top tips module one explained um, there's me riding a um, slow speed um, circuit on my um, pan european so i actually a film doing the manual handling i think the slalom figure of eight the slow speed and a u-turn on my st1300 pan european so you want if you want to have a laugh, have a look at that one. Um, but it's all good stuff. And then we've got the module one on the Blackburn Test Centre. So there's a lot of videos going through, which will sort of, as we go through the live stream, you can go on to, um, you can watch them as well. Because the live stream's great, um, but it's good to see actual, um, for, you know, live footage as well. So that's where we are. Um, got the little diagram here which we'll refer to and um, let's talk about then the arrival at the test centre so different schools operate different ways so we would always um, you would always meet um, our, our instructors at our training centre and you would always ride to the test centre. And I know there are schools that um, transport bikes to the test centre and you get there yourself. Well, we don't do that. It's not, not, we don't recommend that because, you know, you're missing out on the ride to the test centre. Um, what you don't want to do is arrive at the test centre. The bike comes out of a van and you don't want to then have to um, you know, get on a cold bike or a bike that you've not ridden and you've not been on a bike for two years or whatever it might be. So we will always meet you at the test centre and we will always um, get you to ride to the test centre. So let's talk about getting to the test centre. I'm just going to close the door because there's a bit of noise in the background so bear with me it's amazing how much noise one person can make it's unbelievable there we are um so let's talk about Getting, uh, getting to the test centre, you arrive at the test centre, let's talk about 
um, thereafter. So let's just re look into the chat room, see what's going on. Uh, Sophie's thinking of changing the name, Chicken Lines. So what should, yeah, there you go. Ask people what you should change your, your, your name to, Sophie. Um, AW8, Eek V. Eek V, thank you for your videos. Passed my theory on the 19th of February, doing my DAS on 7th, 9th March. Fantastic. Keep us posted and let us know how you get on. Um, so this live stream and the live streams we have would be of benefit to you. Um, so let's get this chat room too hot to handle. Let's have it steaming at all four corners. Remembering that competition, we have got that competition. I want to give away a free CBT, so let's get those 100 people and then we'll open up that competition. But yeah, keep us posted. Eek V, Eek V, yep. Yeah. Uh, good, good luck, Eek V, James. Oops, sorry, I meant to say good luck, Eek V. My test is booked for the yeah, 3rd of March. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Sylvia. Um, Sylvia, yeah, so we've got two, we've got two of our um, centre managers on the chat room, so a lot of experience there, ladies and gents, so get those questions in. Sylvia looks after Northwich and Wigan, Sophie looks after Runcorn, Graham looks after um, Manchester, might be on in a bit, who knows, good evening, and here he is, so I've got three, I've got three of the centre managers on the chat room. Uh, actually, no, that's not Graham Cook, our centre manager. That was another Mr. Graham Cook from South we learned last week, yeah. So, anyway, good evening, James. <coughs> yeah, he's praising you, Sylvia. Christopher James, he's praising you. Recommending. Anyway, um, so we get all... We get so many different people onto the live stream. It's so good to interact with so many different people. But remember, if it gets a bit silly, I've got a little ban button and I can just... Bye. Bye. See you later. Good evening to Dan Ashworth. Yeah, so building up a bit of momentum then. There's quite a few with lessons and tests coming up, so... Stay tuned. Um, CBT last week, mod one tonight, mod two next Wednesday. But the playlist of the live streams, there's so much content that you can benefit from. Um, it's all good. Yeah, instructor Soph. That's that's good. Yeah, I don't think you can just change it. I think you got there's a bit more to it than that from recollection because I changed mine a few years ago. It was a bit of a minefield actually to change it, but anyway. And they keep changing different things on the YouTube channel as well. So you sort of uh, different different um, they keep tweaking it and stuff like that. But, okay, so let's get back to it, then module one. So um, in the um, description below, so what I can do is sort of uh, mirror what I say with referring you to the description below where you've got videos to. Um, that's not our Graham, Sophie. That's not our Graham. That's a different Graham, I think. That's not Mr. Cook, our manager, Mr. Cook. It's another Mr. Cook because it was on last week, I think. Um, it's, um, no, it's not G. Um, Biker Mad Stu, my advice on becoming an instructor, helpful UK, and as I would like to get into instructing. Right, different, different live stream, but um, go back a few weeks on the live streams, you'll see a live stream on instructor training. Um, so that'll come, not next week, maybe the week after. There'll be a live stream on so we can talk you through all about that. It is a chief. It is a chief, Graham. It is. Do apologise. We had another Graham Cook last week. Um, for some reason, because you've changed, I think you've changed your logo. Um, anyway, so it is the chief on. So I've got the 
Um, Royal Enfield bikes. Well, Sophie rides a Royal Enfield, um, so she will be able to tell you. It's the chief. So we've got the chief, the sergeant, and we've got the um, the new the new one that has not got a handle yet. Actually, is Sophie got a handle? But anyway, um, there we are. Um, that chat room is quite hot. That chat room is quite hot. Um, mod one. First video in the description below. And that is um, what you need to wear on your tests. So remember, ladies and gents, if you arrive to the test center with, um, you know, inappropriate clothing, footwear, they will turn you away. So do check with your training school what they provide, what you need to buy and so forth. Don't just rock up inappropriately because you'll, you'll lose it. Um, so there is a video below which gives you our take on, good evening Graham, thanks for coming on mate, um, Go. it will explain to you what you need to be wearing. Now we provide the basics, so um, check with your school, but it's always nicer isn't it to um, wear your own stuff. Um, and it's you always feel more comfortable wearing your own stuff. So and you're getting into biking to ride a bike. So buy it. Why not? I would always recommend, as with the CBT video, buy your stuff after the CBT because the CBT you get all the experience. Because there are there are specific discussions revolving around what you need to wear and so forth. So. After your CBT, if you're thinking of getting your full bike license done, buy your own gear, you'll always feel more comfortable. There's no doubt about it. So that's in there. And that's got a few that we've got next video. There's uh, six top tips to pass your, your, your test first time. And top tips, module one explains. So there's some real good top tips. Things like, you know, have a good night's sleep. Make sure you're well hydrated. Make sure you're you're not hungry. You've had had food because all these things will affect you. Make sure you're you're prepared. Uh, make sure you've got all your documents and things um, ready the night before, so you're not looking around in the morning. These steps get to your training centre on time, so that as you know you can relax. And you're not rushing, you know. And if if you're not planning stuff and if you're not prepared, then it's just you're just going to go from the offset. You're you're chasing your tail, aren't you? So preparation is really, really important. Um, so always get <clears throat> get on time, get prepared, um, and of course watch our YouTube videos. Um, and you know your instructor's job is to get you to the test centre on time. Your instructor's job is to present you to the examiner on time. And RJH, all of our instructors that go to test, will always take the documents off you and prepare your documents for you and your examiner. So he helps you out. Our instructors help you out. Okay? Um, and get you, where possible, we will get you in the zone mentally. Because, you know, you need to be really, really in the zone. That's where we want you. Um, and so we'll, we'll come back to that then in a minute. Let's have another little catch up in the chat room because we've got quite a bit there. Um, so Mr. Graham Cook. Yes, chicken line. Sophie, biker, mad stew. Take a course with RJH. Well, yeah. Um I've got to be biased, obviously. Um, but I can ask you, Roger, that for the info. I shall keep my eye out for that in the future. Yep. Good good man. If you are a Stu, yep, you think you're a man. Laughing dog. I changed my logo. Can hardly see it, though. No, can't see it. Dark. Uh, Christopher, yeah, I always talked to you at JNS a week or so ago. I was on a higher bike while waiting for my new big bike. 
fantastic. Last night I recently upgraded all of my gear to go with my big bike. Lovely to ride, basic to fix, but needs fixing too. Haha. <laughs> that's a Royal Enfield one and so forth. Yep. Oh, that's brilliant because it was Thank you, Omar. Done. The main problem is I had to find it hard to listen at times and take on advice. We're all different, aren't we? We all lose in. Uh, we all. We all. Can't get my words right tonight. We all learn at different um, paces, learn in different ways. Some of us respond to verbal, some of us re respond to pictures, some of us respond to demos. There's, there's no. You know, it's no no right or wrong. It's all about um, what works for you. So then, module one, um, and um, you can see the diagram. This is a left circuit. There's also a right circuit on the same pad, but one's left circuit, one's right circuit. Basically, that's the cornering and the hazard avoidance, but we call it a left circuit or right circuit. Um, so if you go around um, a left circuit, you'll do a, a left avoidance. If you go around a right circuit, you do a right avoidance. Um, and uh, that's that. So you meet in your examiner on time. Um, and yeah, well, we do. We, we have about, we can have an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Anything from, we use test, 10 different test centres. We can have rides to the test centre from 30 minutes up to an hour and a half. So anywhere in there. And yeah, any any ride to the test centre gets you in the zone. Just just blows the cobwebs out. Um, you get presented to the examiner then and you will have your documentation. Um, and that is your CBT certificate, your theory test certificate, original copies only. You will have your um, card part of your license, or if it's an old paper style license, you'll need uh, your photo ID, such as your passport. Okay. Good evening, Liam. Yeah, I'll let you off for being late, Liam. Uh, welcome to the live stream. Um, and um, make sure you've got all that documentation. Okay. And what will happen then is the examiner checks it all and make sure everything is in order and then he will ask you to sign um, a declaration then he'll generally have a bit of a chat with you it could be about anything what what you want to be called or talk about the weather or whatever any um and lead lead your way out to the bike um and they just check around your bike there's no questions involved on module one there is no eyesight check involved on module one. It's straight over to the bike and getting on uh, into the into the pad because your your bike will be outside of the pad. Um, so that's pretty much the sort of start of it. Um, documentation check visually looks at what you're wearing, make sure he's happy. Um, signs a declaration. You lead your way out to the bike. And he'll have a look around the bike, make sure it's okay, make a note for the reg and stuff. Um, and, you know, your, your test has commenced. Your test has commenced. <laughs> Generally, um, good evening, Dave Ashworth. Good evening, Dave Statham. Um, and no, don't apologise, Liam. That's all right, mate. You're not at school. You're okay, um, and that's generally where you are. Um, the test will generally last you about 15 minutes. So start to finish, as a guide, you're looking at about 15 minutes. Um, and um, showing off now, Sophie, going out for a quick run. How quick is that going to be, Sophie? Um, I'll... Um, I'll time you. So, 15 minutes and uh, the test. What about the test itself then? It, it came out in 2009. So, 2009, the module one was um, brought in, the two part test. It was prior to that, the one part test. So, 2009. 
um, two-part test. It was due to come out in 2008, but the DVSA weren't ready for it, um, and um, it came in 2009, so it's what, 2009? That's 23 years. April, in this April, it will be 23 years. Crikey me. No, 2009, 13 years, 23 years. Not with it today. Um, it will be um, out for your, yeah, 2009, 2019, 13 years. So it's been around a bit. Uh, we use eight different test centres and, yeah, um, module one. They're all pretty much the same, what we call multi-purpose test centres. There are one or two that are um, casual sites. Used to be at Chadderton, used to do a casual, be a casual site. That's not there now. Um, Macclesfield used to be a casual site. That's gone now. Um, but um, it's fair to say all of the module ones that we use. That, oh, Wrexham. So Wrexham's like a casual site. It's on a, a DBSA inspection. So road traffic inspection or something like that. So, um, but other than that, all of the test centres we use are mul what they call multi-purpose test centres. And you might find lorries and wagons and buses and tra tra trailers, cars. So all, all vehicle tests are carried out from the same place. Um, so a little bit of um, useful information there. Um, so yeah, your test starts, all the documentation out to the bike, your test starts. Now, depending where your test is, will um, vary, if you like, where you enter. So where the gate is to enter this facility, that will vary. That will depend on where you go. So and as an example then, um, if you can look, if you can see the diagram in the screen, where it says start at the at the bottom, sort of six o'clock, if you like, um, that would be where the gate is in um, Atherton. So Atherton, the gate to get into the facility is there. Um, Breadbury, the gate would be um, there. Um, so if you think of this. Um, rectangle as a clock so that where the start is is six o'clock okay so Breadbury Atherton now if you went to um, let's think if you went to St Helens the gate would be about where nine o'clock would be um, and if you went to Darwin in Blackburn um, the gate would be, sorry. The gate would be at um, nine o'clock. Um, St. Helens would be three o'clock. Thinking of it as a clock. So, um, and the, the the casual one at Macclesfield used to be where twelve o'clock would would have been. So different test centres um, are laid out slightly different in how you get in there. And that'll that'll determine how you sort of go in to do the first exercise. So make sure you know you're familiar. Your instructor will generally help you out as well. Um, so um, yeah, we were invited to various different workshops and seminars um, before before the the test centres. Uh, before the module te one test was um, was launched, all ATBs were invited to go and have a practice and a play. Yeah, absolutely. Just different, um, different, well, different. Um, we're, we're teaching the same, but uh, and for different exercises. But yeah, straightforward enough. It was useful for us to go and have a go. Um, and does Brebbery change in what way? Um, if you're thinking of a left circuit and a right circuit, they would both be on one one pad like this. So the slalom and figure of eight is in the middle, 
and the avoidance is on either side so you could go and the u-turn is on the other side as well so it's sort of mirrored and what's what goes down the middle is the slalom and the figure of eight but everything else is duplicated on both sides so you could get either yeah i think that's the answer to your question liam yeah 15 minutes on and off 15 minutes on and off is done um and we had a record once uh, and the record was about seven minutes so we had a young lad and he did the module one test in about seven minutes a uh, nice rider yeah he was a nice rider so and he passed but he did a did a, a quick one but take your time you don't rush it but you've got about we'd say overall about 15 minutes that's the sort of um, times that you want to be aiming for um so um in the in the links below then so we've got what you need to wear on your test we've got the top tips for test first time and we've got me demonstrating all the slow speed stuff then we've got the test center complete module one um, that's it, Blackburn. And then we've got Lathe doing a Lathe. He did fantastic. That was a nice video. We did a Lathe just before he passed his Mod 1 test. It was it was before he went on the same morning. And then we're going straight into the um, exercises. And I've got a video down below of manual handling. So your first exercise is going to be manual handling. Now, depending where you are, um, will determine how you get into the um, green cone. So if you look at the bottom of the diagram, you've got eight green cones <clears throat> now what you want to be doing is parking in either one um, and um, you know on on the um, test we will generally favor you to go from right to left so you can move the bike around in one go um, it's much easier than doing it like a three-point turn but so Park in the right hand bay of green cones with the yellow cones behind you. And that is what we would teach. Now, did John, John did a video not so long ago of um, both of those. Let me just see if I can find it. And if I can, I'll put the link in there. Um, and he, he shows you the two different... Um, manual handlings now i think i've got it which way do you favor Mon module one manual handling what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste that video and i'm going to come into the description below and add that one in um, into the live stream description below so if we go down below in the description we've gonna we're gonna have a video um, and it's going to be module one manual handling and I'm going to put that in on the top one so the first one module one mandel, manual handling so there's two videos there of save that so if we go back down to the description below if we go back down you should now see module one manual handling and the first one you will see um, John's pew and doing a few different ones there so you can choose which one but we always favor the right to the left um, there's no right or wrong way so you do what is comfortable for you Okay, you do what is comfortable for you, what you've been doing in your lessons, and your instructors can help you with that. Um, now, let me just get that back into uh, module one. So they're both there, yeah, in the description below. We've done a few videos since um, the last live stream, and this is like copy and paste, so... Um, Let's just go um, back. So Dave 
Liam, love the mod one, just got a new book with easy to hard exercises to carry out with measurements, really good. Just got a new book with easy hard, so you can actually, there's a lot of stuff, yeah, you, I mean, I've got a chart where, um, exactly the same as what's on the screen now, with the actual dimensions, which you can get off the internet. Good evening, Lisa, nice of you to join us. Um... Edgar took a deep breath before each maneuver and visualized it just before attempting to say, yeah, so take your time, don't rush it, get yourself in the zone, treat each exercise on their own. Uh, at Leon Solo mod, mod one, so it can be left or right handed depending on the day, yeah, it could be with, with, um, with any of ours really, yeah, it could be a left, could be a right. Liam binge watched vids, ask Rob questions. Yeah, always there when I can help, when I can answer, always will do. Yeah, any uh, anybody on tests, we always, if we have any of our trainees want to watch it, I always take from a distance. And if I've got a trainee on the on the test, doing a test, if I've got one of mine on a test, I will, um, anybody watching, I will always like, can you please stand back lads or girls or whatever um, because you don't want to be putting off any students and that's the um, that's uh, you know common courtesy isn't it um, so yeah module uh, manual handling so a few videos in the description below so you can have a good look choose for yourself but very important the, the bike is in in the bay when you park it it's very important it's in the bay when you finish in within the bay very important you take your observations before moving and very important that you um, look where you're going and don't drop the bike don't walk into a cone so some basics that um, and remember your test has started in the car park so don't just ride in make sure you get in those observations it's the observations very very important um, and control that's all they want to see but how you do it other than that is really not a problem if you need to go backwards and forwards and stuff some people do then don't worry it's not a problem he's not looking for one go um, he's looking for safety that's what he's looking for um, great to hear that the videos help just keep spreading the word keep sharing them where you can contribute to the live streams really is helpful and you know just the YouTube algorithms get out there it's just as for us it's a um, a service that we um, offer um, all we ask for any of you ladies and gents that are not from um, our doorstep and you're benefiting from from our videos from up and down the um, country um, what we do ask for and I don't know whether I've still got a sign here I think I might have I'm going to try this one uh, no wrong one um, you can you can help us um, by I don't think I've got it but um, giving us a um, a Google review so if you're from a different part of the country the videos have helped you and you're contributing coming in and watching and stuff like that great but you can leave us a Google review. Any of our sites, um, Runcorn needs, the new site needs some reviews. So if you pop onto there, don't forget to mention Robert's name. Um, Robert, the videos on YouTube have helped, blah, blah, blah. We welcome the Google five star reviews. Okay, so. I've not got a I thought I had one, but I've not. Oh, actually, that might be one. Let me just move. Let's just. I'm going to take this away a minute. I can always bring it back. I think this is it. Um, here. Try that. There we go. How are we doing? Leave us a Google route. So what I'm going to do is just minimise that. 
I keep that up in the top corner, I can come back to that, can't I? Because I'm sure we're going to get some more people. Okay, so um, that's what I ask anybody that is not on our doorstep that are benefiting from the videos from afar. Please do leave us a Google review. We've got four um, four places to leave Google reviews: Northwich, Wigan, Manchester, Runcorn. So it'd be good to get some on Runcorn. Can we get a Google? Can I get a five star Google review? on RJH Runcorn. Is that a possibility on the back of this video? So anybody that hasn't given us, a, or actually if you have given us a review, it doesn't matter. RJH Runcorn opens on Monday. Can you give us a review? That would be fantastic. Um, just mention Robert on the YouTube. Um, Jacob, good evening to you. Just passed your mod one, Leo Solent. Got the right turn, which is hidden by a building. So it's probably not a, an actual multi purpose set. It might be a casual one. Um, Thanks for RJH helping me. Fantastic, along with your instructor. Yeah, anything that we provide here, always work with your instructors. That's what you're paying them for. This is just a little bit of extra, if you like. That's all we look at. But, you know, um, generally speaking, what we, you know, we're telling you it comes from a good place. And we've been doing it for teaching for 20 years. So we've got a, a fair bit of experience. Um, Ed Gar Harns, my mod one happened to be the left circuit on the day. Yep, could be the left, could be the right. Little tip, if you see the speed trap, if it's not on both, it's only on one, that's generally the one that you're going to get. But if it's on both, if the speed trap is on both, then you're going to be potentially getting either. Dave Statham, also another question in your view, Rob, what is the hardest part of the mod one that needs the most practice? I wouldn't say any of it is the hardest. Everybody, Dave, has their own, um, you know, there's good points, there's bad points. Everybody is different. Um, but what I would say on the day, remember, you on the, on the day, you wouldn't be going there unless your instructor thought you were ready. If your instructor's letting you go, knowing you're not going to pass, then you're not with the right instructor. But, so, it's on the day. It's how you deal with it on the day and we are all different under different test situations but um, you know listen to the videos listen to the top tips don't rush stuff think through what you're going to do treat each exercise at a time you know uh, more often than not people come off successfully passing more often than not but on the day is what I would say, but I would I wouldn't say there's any one particular thing that these people need to practice on, because we are all different. U-turn seems the hardest. Well, people have you know people come along with the U-turn that you know they they've never ever ridden a bike, but they think the U-turn is going to be the hardest part because of what people talk about. But U-turns, you know, slow speed control, looking where you're going. It's not. Not rocket science, but, you know, some people nail that straight away. Others don't. There isn't one thing that I would say, I could say, that is the thing. Uh, nerves, yeah. Hardest manoeuvre, especially when nerves really like the hazard avoidance manoeuvre. Yep. Yeah. Um, Jacob, Dave Satham, some people struggle to make sure they make the, sm the speed required. There's so, so many variants, isn't there? Torian Williams, good evening, Torian. That's a new name in the um, chat room. Um, that is a new name. So have we got anybody from a distance that has benefited from the videos but not actually come through the school? Don't forget, we're after those. A nice five-star Google review. And please have a look at RJH Runcorn. Our new site opens on Monday. RJH Runcorn. Mention Robert on there. 
Um, Torian struggled with slow speed stuff, but one, two, five, and just practice, practice, practice. Can't fault practicing. Cannot fault it. Christopher, I was worried about the U-turn, but it was easy and a much bigger space than I expected. Yep, so most uh, most schools will practice. We don't use the test centres. So, um, you know, and then when you take somebody and get on the test centre, wow, it's so big. Wow, it's so flat. The surface is so brilliant. And the U-turn is 7.5 metres, white lines instead of cones. So visually everything appears. And it's not uncommon, Chris, for people to come back saying that they found it much easier than in practice. Liam... Uh, Balance fairly good, albeit prior practice in a friend's small workshop car park, shiny cars and a little space help me focus on slope. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think key points are not taught at beginner level? I like trail braking even at slow speed. Well, we do. Yeah. We teach, well, trail brake it if you're calling that. Gas clutch rear brake. Um, tighten the bike. So you drive it at the front, pull it at the back. Um, we teach it. So... It just depends what school you went to. But, yeah, we teach it. Um, Toria, no thanks for the shout out. I live five minutes from Eccles, uh, from your branch in Eccles. Your videos help me so much. Good to hear, Torian. Good to hear. That is what we like to hear. The videos are there for that exact reason. And, yeah, the live streams are very, very um, popular. So have we got, we're going to be moving on from the manual handling. Um, let's have a look. Have we got then a Google review on RJH Runcorn? That would be, wouldn't it? That would be the power of the YouTube channel. RJH Runcorn. Um it doesn't open until Monday, so I'm not sweating about it. It doesn't, it doesn't open until Monday. But can I get somebody to give me a Google review at RJH Runcorn before we finish this um, live stream? I wonder. It doesn't open until Monday. But if somebody could Google RJH Runcorn, leave me a review, Robert and the videos on the YouTube. Fantastic. Um, Dave Statham. I haven't ridden a bigger bike yet, apart from my 125, but people have said that the bigger bike is easier to handle on the hazard or in the subject. Bigger bikes are, are easier to handle when the time's right. So if we get a new rider and put them straight on, no, it's not going to be the right time. Providing the time's right, you will find that the um, bigger bike is easier to handle on, on all exercises. Good evening, Taz. Just past your theory. Well done, mate. Well done. Now you, there's no stopping you. Mod 1, Mod 2. Mod 1, Mod 2. Go on then, Torian. Leave us a nice five-star review on RJH Runcorn. Make sure you... Hey, great. Make sure you mention Robert. So we want a RJH... Because that's a new one. RJH Runcorn. Um, and, you know, if your videos have... If the YouTube channel has helped you, then that's what we just... It does help us. Can't I, Can't uh, deny it. it does help us. So thank you very much for that. Right, let's move on then to what comes after um, man off after manual handling. So after manual handling comes slalom and figure of eight. So slalom and figure of eight. This is where you can get that trail. If it's trail brake and you're referring to touring, you know, back brake, tickle the back brake. So gas clutch, rear brake, feather the clutch, slip the clutch. Um, it's 
slow speed control and the coordination of the controls that we use on slow speed is your gas clutch rear brake um, so you want to be setting off making sure you do your mirrors and shoulders your observations slalom and figure of eight i always teach about six seven eight miles an hour get some rhythm there's no speed. The slower you go, the harder it is. Thank you very much, Dorian. The slower you go, the harder it is. So get that rhythm. And look at where you're going, stuff like that. Don't hit a cone over. Don't put your feet down. Um, keep going on the figure of eight until your examiner calls you out one, one side or the other. And um, on the figure of eight, if you go around the yellow cone, it's not a problem. People say, I can't go around the yellow cone. I, mean, I teach people not to go around it, but if you feel you're going to hit it, or you, go around it. It's not a problem on your test. and You don't have to do it on as tight as you can do it. You need a little bit of space, but obviously you don't want to take the width of the old yard up, so be sensible. But um, slalom and figure of eight. Now, if you look down below in the description, look down below in the description, we have got, there's three videos down there, of slalom and figure of eight and one of them i think is quite a recent one which we did um and i'm going to go through and check all these and um, we had a couple of ladies going on um on the karazaki z400 just did fantastic and so that's there but there's three videos down below of your slalom and your figure of eight um and you know don't rush this stuff Take your time before you set off. But every exercise you're doing on the training facility, imagine you're on the road. So observations are so, so important. Yeah, once you well convert to the smaller bike to the bigger bike, you need to be aware of the weight. Um, you got the power and the weight, and the brakes are all going to be different. So, but you get you know you should have a conversion lesson to take all that into account. The bigger bikes are only heavy if you lean, you know, if you're stopping wrong. So if you're stopping with both feet down, using your front brake and lean over, you're going to feel that weight. So keep your right foot up on the rear brake when you're stopping. Take the weight of that bike on your left leg keep the bike upright don't lean it over you lean it over even arnold schwarzenegger would struggle to keep it um upright so bear that in mind if you're stopping and stuff like that you won't feel the weight when you're riding it if you're stopping and you feel the weight then you're you're not stopping in control you need to keep that bike in an upright position that is what we need to do look at this great so we've got two google reviews on rjh runcorn thank you very much to torian and trades anybody else fancy giving us a review on rjh runcorn that would be much appreciated. Sophie, who is the new centre manager, um, she will be most appreciated in having some Google reviews. Don't forget, though, to mention my name. Robert is my name. I like my name to be mentioned because then I'm in the competition. Um, slalom figure of eight completed. At this point, when you're stopping, we'd always say, and the examiner will probably tell you to pop it into neutral, okay, and then relax. So pop it into neutral, relax, and you probably have a little chat with you and stuff like that. I think at this point, he goes and does something with the speed trap and stuff like that. So you might be there for 30 seconds or whatever. Um, and then he has his diagram. He'll explain the next exercise, which is riding. It's number on the diagram here, it's number four. So Number one, manual handling. The yellow cones, five yellow, two blue cones, two and three into one exercise. Number four, slow speed, stopping with your front wheel. See the four blue cones where number seven is written. That's a box. You don't actually have to get your front wheel in the box. You just get it up to the two, uh, two blue cones. But 
I always tell mine, get it in the box, and that prepares you then for a bit later. But um, I've been told by the examiners, because we get examiners watching this video, so if you're watching John or if you're watching Adrian, particularly from um, um, over at Atherton, then, um, yeah, they politely just said they don't actually have to have the front wheel in the box on the slow speed, just get up to the first two. So um, that's what you can do. Just don't go past it or don't go too far short. Get right up to it. Um, now, this number four, ear walk behind you. So um, speed wise, if you think that slalom figure eight, you get about six, seven, eight, that nice rhythm. That makes it a lot easier to, to move the bike around. Um, with the slow speed in a straight line, <clears throat> you can go slower, okay? You want to go walking pace, and he's going to be walking behind you. So if you did that at 6, 7, 8, you probably wouldn't like that. Um, so you want to be going up, up. We teach about 4 miles an hour. So how can you go slower but in control, get that bike stretching, if you know what I mean? Think of a piece of string at both ends, pull it at both ends so it's tight in the middle. So that's gas, clutch, not all the way out, but drive, back brake, okay? And if you ride away um, and then do the slow speed, you're going way too fast and controlling. In a, down below, I've got a video called POM, and that's Prepare, Observe, Maneuver, and that's a method that we used to do in the car. Um, and I sort of put it into doing it on a bike. Don't know of any other bike schools that um, use the POM, but I do prepare, observe, maneuver, and that's where you're in the control position, and get your revs busier than normal, um, you know, busier than normal, get your clutch on the bike point, so the bike wants to go, but you're holding it with the back brake, so it wants to go, but you're holding it, and then give it a bit more gas, give it a bit more drive, so the front really, the back end's dropped at this point, nothing to worry about, hold it there, and all it is you need to do then is mirror shoulders, and then keep your hands, everything as it is, and just sufficiently release your back brake. Don't take your foot off the back brake because it goes zooming off. Just take a bit of pressure off the back brake and then you're moving away really, really slow in control. And that's the POM explained down below. We've got a demonstration, so take a look at that and that will help you. And then your back brake's on as you move away in control and then he's walking behind you and you've got a lovely, nice control. You know, if you're going wobbly on the steer and stuff, and da, 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 then you know people say, oh, I'm going wobbly because I'm going too slow. No, you're not going too slow. You've just not got the coordination. So get that bike stretching. Watch that video down below. It really is a fantastic video. And that will um, put you in good stead for that one. But practice it. Um, then... What does you do then? You're uh, back into neutral again and relax. Um, back into the bikes at RJH are lovely too. Brand new spankers. They are new. <laughs> All of our bikes are under five years old. So... All of our bikes are five years old. Under five years old. And... Um, Generally, yeah, they are, you know, in, in good. They're nice. Uh, so, slow speed in a straight line. Don't miss your observations. Don't put your feet down. Don't hit any cones over. Um, and, you know, jobs are good and stop where you're asked to stop. Um, and you um, are then going to get a brief, if you like, a talk through on... Uh, the U-turn. Okay, now down below again, I've got the U-turns and some fantastic, got a couple of options of U-turns, not a lot of people know it, but you can do a stop-start U-turn or a rolling U-turn. So have a look in the videos below, the three videos below, they're all there. Um, speed on a U-turn again, about six, seven mile an hour, get that nice rhythm, makes it a lot easier. Um, observations moving off, lifesaver before you turn. Um, look where you're going. Slow speed control. You can go on the white lines, minor faults. Don't go outside the white line, serious fault. Don't miss your observations. Don't miss your lifesaver before you turn. Don't put your feet down. Don't go outside the white lines. Don't drop the bike, obviously. And you'll be fine. But the 
the um, the lifesaver before you turn is important. So if you're going forward and stopping, you need to do all your observations again. If you do go forward and stop, I would also say just turn your steering to the right slightly. So then your observations, and when you go to move away, you're already turning. Um, and if you're doing the rolling U-turn where you're not stopping, don't forget that that lifesaver before you turn is so important. So, so important. Um, done your U-turn, come to a stop, and pop it into neutral, and you come over to you again. Now, at this point, a lot of people, so if you, if you, mm, bit with me slow speed, mm, I'm a bit with me U-turn, oh, slalom, I'm not happy with that figure. You know, at this point now, people that have got this thing going on in their head about the slow speed, at this point now, they will relax, okay? They will relax and they will feel a lot better because they've got through it all. Wow, that wasn't as bad as what I thought. Wow, that's a lot more space than what I thought. Oh, wow, um, I've not hit a cone. I've not put my foot down. I've not uh, missed my observations. Oh, up to now, I'm doing okay. So they sort of, their confidence then will build up, okay? they will, confidence will then build up. And, you know, you're halfway there. So pat yourself on the back. Um, you're halfway there, okay? So, and then we're going to move on to the next bit. So we've done manual handling, slalom figure of eight, slow speed in a straight line, and the U-turn. Um, don't rush any of them. Take your time. Get yourself in the zone. If you've got any questions, ask him. Won't mind. All right. So before we go on to the next bit, let's have another look. So is Sophie listening? Sophie, I've got your two Google reviews already for Runcorn on tonight. So I've got your two Google reviews. Um, Torian and Trade have given RJH Runcorn YouTube, uh, RJH Runcorn Google reviews on the back of the channel. So how good is that? And we're not even open yet. Opens on Monday. So if anybody feels they want to leave Robert a YouTube review, a, a Google review on the back of YouTube, just go to RJH Runcorn, leave us a review. Don't forget to mention Robert. <coughs> and that's all we ask. Um, so let's have another revisit into the chat room and see what's going on. Um, you do get used to the weight, laughing dog, yeah. One, two, fives feel like toys after, yeah, they are. And to be honest with you, if you've got a one, two, five whilst you're doing your training, it can actually hinder you. Um, it can because you get on the big bike and then you get back on your one, two, five until your next lesson. It does, it can, it can have a detriment to your progress. Um, Torian's going to don't be hesitant. The bigger bike can be moved with like smaller bike, just practice turns. Yeah, the bikes at RGH lovely too. Brand new spank is good, good. It's going to be where did I did my CBT Honda CBRs? Yeah, nice Hondas, chicken lines. Welcome. Yeah, Sophie, you're back. What was that run? That was only about a five minute run. What did you do? Did you go around the block? That could have only gone around the block. Uh, I thought you were going to be gone for an hour. That's sort of a 10K, 10K, six miles in an hour. Um, Tori and Graham does ride a bike. Um, well, sort of, don't you, Graham? These days, he's, uh, he's uh, yeah, he does ride a bike. Um, Sylvia, thanks, Tori. And yes, all bikes across the sites are very new and well maintained, which helps trainees immensely. It does. It does. Sylvia's got some new bikes coming again. Sylvia always gets new bikes over in Northwich. And she's got two, she got some MT07s going over shortly uh, for the 1st of March. That's Monday, isn't it? MT07s are going over. Um, the bikes are also well maintained in my Mod 1 on one of their older bikes in the fleet, and it was tight as a drum. Yeah, well, our older bikes are still not five year old. Our older bikes are what, 18 plate? I think we've got 650s of the oldest. And we just had some 17 plates, but they were 18. They were a year, they were registered in 18. But anything, um, eight. so the 18 plate SV650s we got 
they'll probably go later in this year. Um, later this year they'll go. Um, but yeah, nothing older than that. So even the older ones in our fleet are still new in comparison. And we do actually have other bike schools by our bikes office, which is, you know, um, shows what just the, what the standard that we, we, we have in the fleet. So when we when we go to sell our bikes, we have uh, we've had, uh, yeah, a couple of different bike schools buy off of us. Um, AWA, decent bigger bike should feel less twitchy than 125s. Very much so. Graham rides the yep, Honda 500 work bike, BMW. Great bike, Sam. Yeah, Brian, Christian, how are you? Thanks for compliments. I'm using the Honda 500X for my test currently. So you're doing A2 on 500Xs. That's a lovely bike. We use those. The instructors use those. Pump, they give, give over 90 miles to the gallon. Absolutely fantastic bikes. Yep, so right, once that U-turn was done, I really enjoyed the Mod 1. I'm very well. So yeah, so Brian, that is common. You know, a lot of people that going in, you know, everybody has in their mind, you're going in on a test. Nobody likes tests. And a lot of, you know, slow speed, slow speed, slow speed, whether it be manual handling. A lot of people, manual handling, once they get out, that out of the way, they're a lot happier, especially some of the smaller um, people. Um Figure of eight. Some people have figure of eight in the mind. Some people have the U-turn in the mind. But when that, when all those have done, and you think, yeah, I've, yeah, I'm okay. F no feet down, cones, obs were good. Da, da da da. They do relax then, and they think, oh yeah, I do relax and get a good, um, you know, get a good result then. SV650, lovely bikes. Yep, on the 500XR, lovely bikes. Torian, do I know you then, Torian? Can, what, Torian Williams? Don't know whether I, if I, do I know you? Now then, Sean, that is the news that I like to hear. And what I want you to do for me, Sean, is go on to RJH Run Corner and leave me a Google review. Mention my name in the YouTube channel if you don't mind. And that's all we ask, because that is fantastic. That is the result that we want. I watched your YouTube video on the live stream, and then they'll pass me tests the day after. That is fantastic news. And um, it's that news, Sean, that makes us come and do these videos again. And for those that don't come and train with us because of where they live or whatever it might be, all we do ask is you come back on, you contribute to the live streams because you now have got what a lot of people want. You can pass on your experience, but please do visit RGH Runcorn and leave me a Google review. I would be much appreciated, Sean. But please mention my name. Robert is my name. It's fantastic when we get results like that. Absolutely fantastic. Because I don't know of any bike schools that do live streams. I don't think that is a, certainly a unique service that RJH offer. And, you know, it is a regular weekly um, slot and we have the um, the experience now to interview join people in so Sophie can come on Sylvia can come on Graham can come on, as you you've seen in past videos so it really is a it's really good to hear Um, yeah, good night, Graham. All the best. All the very best. Hey, we've got another Dan. 
Danny Aim. Danny Aim. Actually came off on my mod two a couple of weeks ago, trying to get back, trying to get my hand healed and get back into it. Uh, the examiners were great and told me not to let it put me off. Sorry to hear that, Danny. Yeah. Um, not one of ours. That so on a test. I mean, listen. Important thing: you get, you're okay. Get, get on with it. And if you can learn with it, there'll be a reason why. Um, there will be a reason why you came off. So. Um, through the examiner, through your instructor, yeah, identifying what that reason was, learn from it, move forward. Um, but yeah, um, get yourself well, get yourself back on, and get yourself out there. Counter service intelligence. I've been riding, my first experience on motorbikes was 50 years ago this year. So the summer of 2022, um, 50 years since I first was on, on a motorbike. It was the summer of 1972. Um, and if you go through the channel, there's some videos of the trip down memory lane that I did in 2015. And I, I just revisited those, the, the area that I was... Um, um, introduced the two wheels in the summer of 1972. As far as teaching goes, I have been teaching for 20 years, well, 21 years. Um, RJH is coming up to 19 years old, but that's the school. But me personally, 50 years this year. So what I need now, of course, from that claim, I need all these viewers saying, how can you have been riding for 50 years? Because you don't look 50. That is what I need to hear now. OK, and anybody that starts getting cheeky like that one from down in Stoke-on-Trent, then, you know, then, well, that we'll see. The torque blew my mind on the V twin. I drive a three to buy love. Yeah. Bikes. Try an electric bike then, Turian. Try an electric bike. Play me. You wonder poof, they're like a rocket. Even the little one two fives are like a rocket. There you go. That's what I like to hear. Counter service intelligence. Thank you. Hey, you'll go far. You'll go far. That's what I like to hear. I only look 40. Happy days. You can come on to the live chat again. Counter service intelligence. You can come on to the live chat again. Um, so, uh, where are we up to? We've done all the slow speed and we're all now. Sean just left a Google review. I don't believe it. I need to go and have a look. Are you listening into that, Sophie? Sophie's the manager of, um, the new manager of RJH Runcorn. And there you go. Oh, Kevin Paul. Thank you very much. RJ, it's a professional setup. Sophie is super runkle site boss. Kevin! <laughs> Sophie, you've got, you're getting into a competition with me on Runcorn. Three reviews in Runcorn. How brilliant is that? How brilliant is that? Um, and. Now, let me go here, just see where we... We'll come back on to the... I'm not ignoring you. We'll come back on to the um, higher speeds now, in it, or the others, in a moment. Well, 
Where have you left your review, Sean? Yamara F Z S F Z S six hundred. That is a that is a nice first bike, isn't it? That is a nice bike. It's a nice incentive to get. It's a nice, if you have a bike, it's a nice incentive. Yeah, we're coming on to that now, James. So um, all the slow speed stuff done. We're now looking at the circuit. So you're facing, so you've just done number number five and you're now facing the opposite way. And as you can see, this is a left circuit. So you're going to go round right corner to left corner. So you're going round to the left and you're going to approach and it'll be a left hazard avoidance. Before all of that, though, um, your, your four blue cones are still there from, from where you did your U-turn. And um, what will happen is you've got to go round the circuit uh, and you've got to stop with your front wheel in that box of four blue cones. That's your front wheel. Now, there's no speed measurement on this. It's, it's what's called a controlled break, a controlled stop exercise. And the main thing that your examiner is looking at is how you'll brake, uh, the control of your braking. Uh, he doesn't want to see any aggressive braking. He doesn't want to see any skidding. He wants to see, he wants to see you stop smoothly, progressively with those brakes, with the front wheel in that box. And he's not only going to look at that, but he'll look at your entrance into the bend and how you go around the bend and how you exit the bend. So he's looking to make sure you're going the proper way where you need to go. Um, what we would always encourage anybody of our trainees is why don't you have a go at getting up to speed? So why don't you go around that top bend at 20 miles per hour and why don't you come down and get yourself up to 32 part? 32 miles per hour at the given point and stop with your front wheel in the blue blue cones. It just gives you a free getting up to the speed exercise, but that's up to you. He's not recording your speed. What he's looking at is the controlled stop, okay? And once you've done the controlled stop, um, it'll be one, one cone on the other, so you've just got two cones left, one, one left and one right. Um, and that's for the next exercise. Um, so how are you going to stop, remember? In a straight line, ABC, off the gas, off the throttle, <clears throat> front brake followed by back brake, and clutch after the brakes. Always clutch after the brakes, clutch before the brakes. Remember, that's going to cause you coasting, harder to stop in control, can cause a lack of control. So A, B, C, let the engine braking assist you, all right? Um, and progressive with the brakes, don't be harsh with them. And you will have done all this in practice, I'm sure. But you know, um, you've got to do it right on the day, haven't you? So once you've done that and he's moved the cones and everything, it'll ask you to turn around. So you're facing the opposite way again, you can do another U-turn. It's not actually another U-turn, so you can go outside the white lines, not a problem. Don't forget your observations though. Um, but so you're facing the opposite way again. So the next exercise is the first high speed um, exercise. It's the emergency stop. OK, in fact, any of you, ladies and gents, could do a review on the run corn for us. If you're watching AW8 review names. Yeah, we have an internal competition, you know, we um as a company, we have a £50 gift voucher for the um, highest Google reviews. Whoever gets the highest Google reviews, we have a £50 gift voucher. So anybody that teaches somebody for the day on a CBT or they pass a test, have you had a good experience? Will you please leave us a review? And we have a, a £50 gift voucher, monthly gift voucher competition. And it's works well you know who wouldn't want a 50 pound voucher every month i want it 
And so I carried it over. So the next month it was £100. I put it back into the kitty because it's me that's paying for it, basically. But I put it back into the kitty. So the next month it's a £100 voucher. It's not to be, you know. Um, so let's have another look. Let's see, have another look on there. I'm impressed. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm impressed. We got three three reviews on Runcorn from tonight. Um, the next exercise then is the emergency stop. And this is the one, let, look down below. So forgot, look down below. We've got it all there. Um, and what it is, is um, stopping as quickly as you can, as safely as you can. Um, all of our bikes have got ABS brakes and the examiners, generally speaking, and even if it's raining, the examiners, generally speaking, would would like to see, they would expect to see, if you're on a modern bike with ABS brakes, they would expect you to be stopping in a shorter distance than, than if you were on a bike that did not have ABS brakes, because, you know, some schools are still going to test with bikes without ABS, whereas we as a company, and that's our decision, we don't want bikes older than five years old, and all of our bikes have got ABS. So, um, but you're, you need to be stopping as quickly, as safely as you can, given the weather conditions, and I suppose as well, and the bike that you're riding. Um, the speed requirement now needs to be 50 kilometres per hour, and that's about 32 miles an hour. Now, to, to get that speed is really easy. If you, if you go around that top bend at 20, which you can do comfortably, You've only got to come out at 20 up to 32. It's hardly hardly um, anything. But if you go around that top bend at five miles an hour, you've then got to give it some gas to get up to speed. So you put a bit more pressure on. So if you plan this, if you plan it, the speed aspect is not a problem. So when you're practicing this, practice it. Don't, don't just do practice. If you need to put more practice in, practice. So if you go around the top, bend at 20 and you're coming through all the red cones uh, with the yellow cones with a speed trap then um, it's um, you know it's a doddle so um, what I teach and what we teach as a school as well we want you to get your speed at 32 50 kilometers per hour at the first red so the first red and then you can forget the speed. Now, if you're going through the first red and you're approaching the yellow where the speed trap is, we're looking at number nine now. If you're coming through and you're still concentrating on the speedo, you're going to miss that hand going up. You're slower to react. You're longer stopping distance, stuff like that. So get your speed comfortable at the first red. And then you can switch off from that and hold everything. And then you're concentrating, looking for that hand. As soon as that hand goes up, you then can stop quickly but safely in the shortest distance in control. Um, second gear, we'd always recommend you stay in second. Some people like to go up to third. We teach you to stay in second because you've got better engine braking. Uh, sounds busy, about 5,000 revs. Second gear is about 32, so but it sounds busy, but that's okay. Um, ABC, front brake, back brake, clutch. Now... Um, ABS brakes, if the ABS kicks in, it's not a problem. He's not going to pick you up on that. He's not going to fail you for that or anything. So that's just preventing your, your wheels locking up. Now remember, though, if you're on an, a, if you're on an ABS bike and those, that ABS is kicking in, if you were on an older bike that didn't have ABS, at that point you would be skidding, wouldn't you? Because that's preventing skidding. So if you're on an older bike, so you know you need to take that into account as well. But, you know, practice, speak to your instructors and so forth. Now, there's 5% tolerance on speed, so if you're a little bit under, you do get a second attempt, a bit more pressure. There's no upper speed, so you can go a bit, little bit faster than that. It's not a problem. Be sensible, though. We do get people coming through at silly speeds. Well, 
you know, if he takes a lot longer to stop and he ain't happy, then you're going to struggle. Um, and he's not, you don't need to be coming through at daft speed, so be sensible. Um, and if you're taking too long, so if you're concentrating on that speed and you're not, and you miss the hand going up, if you sort of ride and if he feels it's too far, then you're going to struggle. You need to stop quickly, but safely. Second attempt if you need it. Okay, so if it's outside of 5%, so that generally would be um, 49 is acceptable, 48 is acceptable because it's kilometers per hour, 47 kilometers per hour is not acceptable, so you get a minor fault, but a second attempt. 48 and 49, minor fault, that's acceptable. 50, bob on. 51, 52 and above, not a problem, but don't come through at 70 kilometers per hour or whatever, you just don't need to. And it's... I have had it where, yeah, the lad's come through at 60 something kilometers per hour. Well, yeah, he's passed him, but he's got a telling off because you don't need to do it. Um, now, if you are on a bike that skids, release the brakes, reapply. Any skidding, you're going to struggle, I think, on test. I think you're going to struggle with a with a skid in our experience if you are skidding you're going to struggle but remember if you do skid release the brakes and then reapply them it's you that's caused the skid it's not the weather it's you you know in order of con contribution to skidding it's the rider then it's the bike then it's the um, weather yeah so rider mechanical conditions weather conditions road surfaces and whatnot okay so bear that in mind um if he's happy gets you to turn around again uh, once you've done the emergency stop remember stay where you are he'll come over to you and then he's going to say one or two things he'll say okay then robert i will not ask you to do that again okay i will not ask you to do that again turn around please yeah or he might say to you okay then robert he say you know um not fast enough you need to go again um, so, you know, you can ask him what the speed is and whatnot, get an idea, but it might be one kilometre, a couple of kilometre out, but ask him what the speed is, and then off you go and do it again. Um, the final exercise, which we'll go on to, let's have another little look in this chat room. Could have been at it one hour and 40 minutes. I told you it was going to be a good one tonight, didn't I? Yeah, I wouldn't want to ride a 125 on a motorway. Um, I have done. Over the years, many times I've ridden a 125 on the motorway. Well, one who now. Motorways are ooh, so busy now, aren't they? I mean, around Manchester they are. But it's just so busy. Um, I would. I think if I was on a one, I'd feel very vulnerable. So no, even though you can, on a, if you pass your full licence... Um, but no, I wouldn't want to ride a 125 on the motorway. Um, L plates, no, you need your full. You need to have passed your full test. Um, but no, yeah. So it, you know, you could you could go on a motorway on a 125 with a passenger. <laughs> That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Maybe one of those rules that should be looked at changing. Oh, it's, uh, it's a strange one, isn't it? Um, okay, um, final exercise, hazard avoidance. So if you're on the left circuit, yeah, you're going around right corner to left corner out, and you've got the left avoidance. Um, it could be the other way around. So this is now on the sheet number 11. Speeds need to be the same, so 20. Going around the top bend up to your 32 at the first red, then you can forget the speed. Um, and second gear again. Once you come through the speed trap, the yellow, and you, do, you avoid the two blue, the green line, you can see it. You're going to come back in. Those four blue cones will be two blue cones. So just park, park in there. Good evening, Luke. Nice of you to join us. Um, and yeah, you do need you to be in between the two blue cones, if you like, just up to them, not at an angle. Um, right, so... Generally speaking, I think, from my experience, is that the hazard avoidance is going to be recorded at a slower speed than the emergency stop. And I'll explain why. On the emergency stop, you're coming through at 32 and you wait for this hand to go up. 
So you're waiting for the hand to go up to stop. And his hand won't go up until you come through the yellow. So your speed's maintained. Whereas on the avoidance, what tends to happen, you're closing the throttle maybe just a little bit earlier than the yellow. So your speed drops. Okay. Try and hold your speed. Don't close. So what you want to do is close that accelerator, close the throttle when you're on the avoidance. And that way then your speed. Um, last exercise. Again, if you're a bit slow, you get that second attempt. You don't want that second attempt ideally because it's going to be pressure to you. Your second attempt would be pressure. And um, you don't want that pressure. So try and get it done. Yep. 20 round the bend, up to 32 and hold at 50 kilometers an hour. But you do get that 5% tolerance against second attempt. Um, look where you're going. You can do a little bit of counter steering on the on the avoidance if it helps. But, you know, you'll know your strength, weakness on it, on your lessons. Tips, somebody mentioned about, yeah, tips on it. Yeah, just be confident. All it is is replicating a door opening. Uh, replicating you moving uh, around a, a pothole, this sort of stuff. Cheers, Turian. Thank you very much for joining. See you next time. Um, don't look at the cones, you know, if you're looking at the cones. Also bear in mind, a lot of the bikes have a bit of body armor on, so you don't want to be too close to the cone. Knock the cone over, you know, you're going to be uh, struggling, aren't you? Um, and, you know, practice does make perfect. It is quite a... Um, yeah, 49s, but that's one minor fault acceptable. Um, and, you know, 48, 49 acceptable. Um, so just bear with me then, Brian. Yours was slower, yet yeah, minor fault though. Uh, Luke, so perfect this live. I've got my CBT and passed my theory. I'm 29, going to do DAS for fellow license nerves of test, pull it off, looking at training. Fantastic. Well, you can play back this because we've been at, at this nearly two hours, Luke. But if you go on the live stream playlist, we've got probably six, seven of these live stream mod ones. And also in the description below, lots of module one videos. Um, what I would say, if it's your first time onto the live stream, Luke, um, good to have you here. We have live streams every week, every Wednesday a subject. Every Sunday I do a live stream, but that's just me, Bob the Biker. Nothing to, um, no particular subject but always happy to answer questions. Um, do come and join us again. Um, subscribe to the channel. Press that reminder bell so you get notifications. And what I would say, if you're not training with us, but you're going to use your channel, um, we've got a little banner in the top there. Please do leave us a Google review. We've got a new site opening, site number four in Runcorn. So if you could Google RJH Runcorn, and leave a Google review uh, mentioning the you know the videos are helping it. That would be much appreciated. Um, you know we do. Um, that's how you can sort of put back to us from what we've given to you by leaving us a Google review. It really does help. Um, yeah, okay. All right, Sylvia, thanks very much. We will see you soon. Thanks for joining. Yeah, 125s are always harder to get up to speeds. The A1s on these, you've really got to ring them, haven't you? You've really got to th open up that throttle. But the bigger bikes, no problem at all. If you go out top bend at 20, you can get up to 32. Um, with the hazard avoidance, be brave and don't close the throttle until you're on the avoidance and preparation so 20 round the bend get your speed up before the first reds then you can switch off from the speed and then you can concentrate on the maneuver itself and you know if you a little bit of counter steering can help you look at your destination um, don't be looking at your speed or the cones okay and uh, make sure you're stopping again you don't once you close your throttle the bike will start slowing down so, you know, it's, it's, it's um, you know, you don't have to be aggressive with the brakes and stuff like that. Remember, you do get a second attempt. Once you've done all that, um, you know, back into neutral, you come over and have a chat. Yeah, great. Or second attempt. Um, he'll ask you to ride over to the gate. Um, don't forget all your observations. You ride over to the gate. He'll open the gate, ask you to park up. Don't forget your observations. He's still watching how you park up and stuff like that. Um, and then you're, you're sort of 
dis, you know, secure your bike, dismount, and back into the into the um, the sort of office area where your documents and things were. And yeah, he'll tell you yay or nay. Now, faults, five faults, you can pass. Six faults is a fail. They're minor, regular faults. One serious, one dangerous is a fail. So remember, um, you know, and many times we get people coming off with no faults at all. Um, so the golden rules, don't forget your observations. Golden rule, don't put your feet down when riding. Golden rule, don't hit any cones over. Um, don't go outside the white lines on the U-turn. Don't skid on the emergency stop. Um, make sure you get up to speeds. And, you know, um, it is achievable. And we had um, a lad that won't mind me telling. I think he must have over the last couple of years during COVID and so he must have done five mod ones. Um, must have done. He kept at it and kept at it and it wasn't anything particularly he was doing. It was nerves. Got the pass and I think that was only last week. Got the pass and then uh, yesterday, mod two, first time pass. Absolutely delighted. So the module one, you know, I would say somebody asked before what the sort of thing you need to be, what's what do most people need to put the time and stuff in. I say if I if you look at the mod one, generally speaking, the most common for us, the most popular cause that somebody will fail the module one. And it'll all come down to nerves on the day. And nerves make you do this or make you do that. So if you can if you can get hold of your nerves, then you know the proof it was there. Mod one, five goes, first pass on a mod two. Um, because mod two was more familiar. So it's 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 uh, interesting, isn't it? Um, once you've passed your module one. Um, you get your report and whatnot. You get another certificate, which you can then, you know, produce for your module two. And when you go for your module two again, it's always um, the original certificate. So don't go photocopying them or doing anything silly like that. It's the original. Yeah, we're um, not the cheapest, um, but not the not the dearest, not the cheapest. But we, um, you know, what we do offer is value for money. What you do, what you know, you do. We offer good facilities, good instructors, good equipment, and so forth. And you know, we've been doing it for twenty years, so a lot of experience there as well which um, is what you're, you're paying for. Um, so I would say we're pretty much done. Uh, we've been at it about an hour and 48 minutes where that time has gone. So I don't think there's anything else to add. But like most times, I always finish and then think, oh, I didn't say this or I didn't cover that but I think I've covered most things and the beauty with the live streams is that you can play them back and watch and ask questions that's the beauty you can always ask questions can't you uh, 808 you want to ride a 125 on the motorway no I want bigger bikes are oddly much easier I found yeah our school's teaching 125s on motorways not that I know of we don't um, better comfortable having bike lessons on a motorway. Yeah, I mean, if somebody wanted a lesson on a 125, I suppose it's something you could we could come up with. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not uncommon for somebody to have a lesson on a motorway if they've never had. Um, so yeah, we can tailor make something. Most schools would tailor make something for that. Okay, so it is legal. It is illegal for any learners to ride on motorway. Yes, it is. No learners. 
Uh, nobody likes motorways without hard shoulders. No. Yeah, you always want to try and pass. You pass when you're ready at the end of the day. Yeah, we have a very good uh, instructors. We have great support, the YouTube channel, the live streams. It's all additional stuff that you don't don't get from, you know, most bike schools. Yeah, thank you, Sophie. Good night. Yeah, so um, I am uh, nearly there. I think we're nearly there. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, thank everybody for joining tonight. It's been a blast. It's been a good interactive live stream, which is what we like, um, and can only thank you. Um, no, all our prices are on our website, Luke, um, and yeah, all our prices, most schools don't have their prices, but everything is on our website. Um, I'm going to do it on here for you. Take a look. Um, it's a very, very good website. And we have a new school, depending where you are. We have a new school opening in Runcorn on the 1st. That's Monday, isn't it? 1st of March, Runcorn. So whereabouts you are in the country, you can look at the location map. It's all very user-friendly now. You can put your postcode in and you can choose your nearest RJH school. And don't forget, everybody, anybody that's not left a review, please do. RJH Runcorn. Burnley. So, Wigan. Runcorn will be your nearest. Not a million miles away. Get yourself down. You will not be disappointed. So, um, right then. We're going to be getting going now. What I can say is uh, I've enjoyed tonight. I think tonight has been a good live stream. Thank you very much. You can always play it back and um, continue with the questions and so on. Um, so whatever you're doing, enjoy the rest of the week. Please join me on Sunday night for a relaxing Bob the Biker night. Um, an extension of Mod 1 next week, Mod 2. There is a, a live stream already scheduled, so set that reminder. And let's see you on the live stream for Mod 2 next week. Um, and But what I would say, yep, yeah, enjoy the rest of the week. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks for joining. And we will catch up with you all very soon. So bye for now. Bye.